a long time ago and in a faraway place, or so the legend goes. There was a forest fire that was raging through the countryside. But there in the middle of the flames, a tiny little hummingbird was flying from the pond, fetching a few drops of water each time. After a while, an old grouchy armadillo cried out, don't be a fool. It's not with those tiny drops of water that you're going to put out the fire and save us all. To which the hummingbird replied, could be, but I'm gonna do my bit. So there are two main risks to climate change. There's transition risks, and these are arising from the rapid repricing of financial assets as new regulations come in or new policies come in. And there's physical risks, and these are the ones stemming from these weather events as they multiply, and they're more obvious because there is physical destruction of real estate and property and arable land, and, and, and there's floods. If we continue on our current path, by the end of the decade, we would have emitted so much carbon that irreversible damage would have been done. What we do at Mirabeau, we exclude pure thermal coal players, but we also want to work with companies that are really working to, to be included in that transition. At Mirabeau, we have been convinced over the last 200 years that there is no growth without sustainability. Our vision lies on four pillars. Economic sustainability, social sustainability, environmental sustainability, and societal sustainability. So we want to support businesses. We want to bring added value to our clients while bringing a, a better society, a fairer society, inclusive for all. As shareholders, we have the opportunity to influence business decisions by exercising our shareholders' rights. So when we look at the company, we can influence both the business strategy and also the management. Now, increasingly at Mirabeau, um, we are moving from what we call exclusion towards integration. So when we meet management and we have our discussions, we spend time on responsible investing issues. We have been supporting families, businesses, and the economic world all together with always a long-term approach. And we believe this long-term approach is the guarantee of a sustainable economic development. By being long-term investors, we can better frame clients' needs um, with, with what we're trying to do on the fund and achieve a better outcome. And then what we're trying to do is really grow long-term capital and do that in a sustainable way. Actually, we have never separated or dissociated performance with the general good, with the good investments in the terms of uh, its uh, impact on society, on environment, on climate. Our managers, our investment professionals, when they look at an investment, they take into consideration financial elements an extra financial consideration. I think too many companies communicate continuously on sustainability without necessarily being consistent and true with their actions. But it is fair to say that at Mirabeau, we were not in the habit of communicating our sustainable approach. Now, we want to change. We want to make sure that this approach is known and understood by everyone, internally and externally. Our approach is really simple. We do what we say and we say what we do. We have a much better, I think, vision of, of, of the world in which we live in and how our companies actually fit in with that. Um, and, it, and it is clear that companies that you know, can invest sustainably and can work alongside the environment, you know, are much more likely to be these companies that will be around in 20 years. Um, so we, we have a much clearer conviction now of, of how we can achieve that. Finance is like uh, the oxygen of the economy. And we, as a finance specialist, as bankers or asset managers, 
we allocate resources, like we allow the oxygen to circulate in this economic body. We deploy the capital towards the good companies and leave aside the bad ones. And this is where active managers, bankers can play a crucial role for the economy, for sustainable development and for society altogether. A couple of years ago, you wouldn't have been able to have the word investing and responsible in the same sentence. But today, it's, it's, a, it's a global force and it's, it's factored in everyday decision making and investment. And it's not a niche strategy anymore. Investors are um, understanding that there is global challenges on the rise and they want to align their uh, investment with a higher purpose than just revenues.